Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Planet. And, guys, we are going into the nighttime here at Blue Crab Island, as I had said in the last episode. And I thought that this would be a good time to try some night trolling just to see what would happen. I did bring quite a few lures that are specifically for night and night alone. So, I'd be interested to see just how well they work, honestly. So let's go ahead and get back in here. We are all the way at the end on the map here. Let me take a look here. Yeah, we're way down here as far as you can go up against that barge that's sunk in the, into the water. And we're going to basically try to send ourselves all the way up to here and see what we can catch. But as you can see with this map, there's a lot of places we can troll. Like this big stretch right here would be really good to do it. Uh, this may have too many curves, but, you know, sometimes when you go up against the side, you don't get caught. You kind of bump along, so that might still work. Here will definitely work. That's a straight way. That must be a canal or something. And it might work here. It might be a little tricky because there are islands and stuff in between, but there's some decent stretches here that we might be able to pull off. But we're not going to do that at the moment. We're going to stick with this area at the the main bay or whatever I guess you call it. But we do need to advance time a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get it to about right there. Increase our odds of catching something. And let's check our inventory here. See what we have as far as night lures. Now we've got, looks like I've got some worms that glow in the dark. I don't have any nymphs that glow in the dark. I don't know if any of them actually do. But we got crankbaits of different depths. This 8 foot one might work really well, honestly. As will this 3 foot one. The 16 foot, I think it's not deep enough to use. I brought it in case, but I don't think it's going to work in this particular location. Uh, let's see, we've also got these medium spoons. They should do really well. Actually, this rainbow holographic might actually be the next one I'm going to try. And I don't think I have... I do have some narrow spoons that are good for that. I don't see any night ones that are spinners, though. I'm not sure you can even buy them. Let me take a look here in spinners and spoons see if they have anything. No? No, not really. The yeah, only thing they have in here are uh, buzz baits. But it was worth a look. Yeah, we're gonna just have to try the ones that we were talking about here earlier. I think I'm gonna start off with this rainbow holographic. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see, I got the. I don't think those sile mounts are going to be strong enough for some of these fish. It, well, it is, but it's going to take a while to get to do anything. I'll go ahead and get that in my hand at least. And then we'll lift anchor and get the boat started. Alright, well let's see if we can't get it to 1% like we've done before. And that's perfect. We're going to try to point this thing right towards 
the buildings over there. It's not always that easy to get them. Sometimes I still end up over here. It could be the current. It could be a number of things making that happen. Wouldn't have that problem in some of the straightways that we saw earlier. But let me see here. Let me go ahead and get this in my hand because we probably have enough casting distance now. Like I said before, I like to try to keep it about 60. That's a little far. And that's not a definite. I mean, that's just my preference. And we'll see if anything goes for this. I really, I kind of believe something will, but we're not into the full peak just yet. And this isn't the biggest peak for nighttime fishing either. There's bigger peaks. In fact, the next day I believe there's a really, really large peak right around 9 p.m. Ah, something did bite. Something did bite. I didn't react quick enough. There we go. We did get something. All right, cool. Nice. Yeah, he went for it the first time. Didn't didn't know if I was going to get him or not. Let's see what we got here, guys. I think we got us a snook. Yep, we're going to need a landing net. And there you go. Trophy common snook. That's a nice way to start off the night. Very nice. Let's see. Yeah, he stopped the boat, though. We're going to have to go back and restart it again. Ah, first try. That's not bad. Okay, we need to get that down to 1%, and we need to get it to where we're not going off into the bushes. Okay, we went quite a ways, actually. God bless it. I hate when I bump the wrong thing. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I bumped a deceleration. Okay, let's throw that out there again. Yeah, I think I'm going to throw it out a little farther. It seemed to do better. There we go. Yeah, it's not going to go very deep. But the trolling seems to really get the common snook pretty easily. It's probably because they must be more near the surface. And some of these other fish, they tend to go a little bit deeper. Dang, gone. That's two. Okay, this one's... This one might be, might be bigger than the other one was. I don't know. Is it another snook? I think it is. No, he's not that big. He's... He just had a lot of oomph when it comes to fighting. Well, there we go. And we're still moving, so... Yeah, we're not even in the main part of the peak yet. So if we're doing... We're getting action already. That's not bad. And there's another one. Hmm. I think it is still a snook. Yep. Okay, yeah, I'm going off to the bushes. Hold on. <laughs> Let's just redirect this a little bit. All right, we don't have the building in our site right now, so that means we're going to end up having to probably do this again. Yeah, when I did this, 
on the fisherman, honestly, the knife trolling didn't work as well on that as it's doing here, to be honest. And that boat had the capability for trolling. I never quite understood why they didn't give that capability for this. And very few of the... Well, that was a bite. Very few of the boats have rod holders, and you can't troll with the rod holders. What the heck, you know? <laughs> they need to give that capability. There we go again. Wow, we're really rocking it here with this lure. Is it, I think it's another snook. Yep. Okay, we're going to need a landing net. This is a big fella. Alright, come on, big guy. Let's see how big you are. Another trophy. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get anything bigger than this, but I want to at least get a picture. Me with my little light. Actually, the lighting's really good here. I'm surprised. Better than sometimes during the day. <laughs> All right, he's not a bad one. We'll keep him, but we gotta start the boat back up again. Well, we already know then. Then the medium spoon is definitely pulling in the common snook. Let's see if we've got something else we can try. Well, we've got the narrow spoons. We've got a casting spoon here. This blue one is usually really good. Let's toss it out there because there's a lot of tarpon in this location here, so we might get lucky. I'll just put it out to 60 feet as normal. There we go. And I think we have a, something big here, people. We might have us a tarpon. This is not a snook, guys. This is not a snook. Oh, yeah. There we go. Come on, big guy. Come on, come on. Come over here. Over. Come. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha. 11.05. We needed him, too. We need the cash. These licenses are expensive here. Yeah, let's take a look at this fella. Now that's just a common sized tarpon, guys. Just a common. They get much, much bigger than that. Night trolling for tarpon. Not bad. Alright, let's go ahead and get back in here. We need to get our boat started again. Yeah, I told you that they were... The tarpon were here in this location pretty heavily, so I was hoping they would go for it. I might actually try to see if I can't go under that bridge to the end and come out. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. If what I was trying to say there, I know it probably didn't make it real clear, but right here is like a channel goes under this little bridge. As you go in here the water starts getting more and more fresh. And I thought what I might do is come all the way to the end here and start here trolling. Just to see. Yeah, I thought it might be kind of cool to go to do some trolling right through the center of this. And that's also going to put us in tar tarpon territory. That's hard to say. Tarpon territory. Ah, uh, shoot. I think we're going into the bushes here. Oh, wait a minute. We got something. Oh, nice. We got something. We got something pretty decent size, so we might have us another tarp in here. Yep, we do. Lovely. 
Lovely, lovely tarpon. Come here, big, big guy. Come on. There you go. There you go. He's bigger than the last one. 29 pounder. Oh yeah, nice fish. He's such a nice fish. Nice little fish. Tarpon night fishing. Okay, so that's like a little island there. That's kind of weird. Alright, let's go ahead and put this back. Get this started again. Yeah, the tarpon are definitely on this end of things. Surprisingly, they seem to be closer to shore. Seems like where they tend to hunt. <coughs> yeah, things have been pretty quiet here. I'm going to reel this back in, try something different, since I know that there's tarpon caught in other locations, but we've caught two so far. Might try a different type of lure this time. Now let me see here. Oh, shoot! Well, that explains a lot. <laughs> they stopped biting because, oh yeah, this is one thing about Fishing Planet, guys. It happens from time to time, and I've run into it. But once it gets past a certain time of day, they'll switch days on you. That happened to be just now. I had stepped away for a little bit because I wanted to come back and finish recording this. And they changed the peak. You saw the peak earlier. It was look. It looked just like that. Now we got this one. <laughs> Thank on it. Now that's frustrating. Right now we're not in a peak period, which means we are not going to do very well. Well, I don't know. Let me see. Help. No, we're not going to do as well. Without a doubt. Shoot. Well, we gotta try. Let's try something different. See if we can not get him off of crankbait. Now, I'm gonna try a three foot. Since everything seems to be going to the surface anyway. Let's try a crankbait that's three foot deep. Yeah, because this water is only like eight or nine feet deep anyway. See how far down it goes? Actually, it might not even be that much. It might be six feet deep. Yeah, I was thinking about grabbing the 8 foot, but that was probably just going to be skimming along the bottom. Yeah, I can't remember what all goes for the crankbaits here, but I think permit do. I think tarpon might. Ah, well, something did bite. It could still come back, so... There, we got it. We got it. Yeah, when that happens, just sometimes you got to be patient, and they may come back. So, what do we got here? This is a hefty fish. It is a striped bass. That's what I was hoping to get eventually. Come here, I think. It might be a bonefish, too. I don't know. Let me see. No, it's striped bass. Yep. There you go. It's our first one with the trolling and it went for the crankbait the glow-in-the-dark crankbait three foot alright guys I am back I had left for just a second to get my dog to get in the uh, in the room and I caught another striped bass not nearly as big as the last one I didn't think I was going to get anything because actually what happened was I had, uh, the dog started barking and wanted in, so I, I just kind of left things running, and I went over there and I thought, well, just a few, a second or two. 
That's when I catch another fish. And they seem to be really biting at this time, which is kind of weird. But the striped bass really are going for that lure. Alright, let's see here. Uh, six. Oh, yeah, I gotta get that thing going. We're almost to the end here. Dang on, first try, not bad. I'm going to toss this out a little farther this time. Actually, I'm going to try to get it out to 60 feet because it's so light I can't hardly even cast it. Yeah, the only lure that I haven't tried that I wanted to try was a narrow spoon that's for night fishing. Let's see if we can't get this thing pointed the right direction this time. Okay. But I'm going to run with this just one more time because we are in striped bass territory. And since we are catching them, hey. He's going to wait until I get... There we go. I think we got it. Yep, we got us another one. We got us another one. And this one might be bigger. Let me see. Come on. No, he's he is bigger, but he's not a trophy or anything. Yeah, we're doing really, really well with the striped bass. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very pleased with the way this lure is working and at night. So that is something I'm basically just learning here on this map. striped bass really bite well at night and I was not aware that they went for those lures all right let's see if we can't get this thing where we need to dang on I have really been getting good at that okay let's try to position this right and I am determined I really really want to get a trophy striped bass. I would love to get a unique, but I'm not counting on that on a non-peak period. And they'd have a habit of taking a bite, like kind of like testing it first. I've noticed that they will, you'll see a flash, and then nothing, and then about three or four seconds later, that's when they hit it and are serious about it. So you gotta be patient. Just because you think you've missed it doesn't mean you've actually missed it. There we go. And see he quit. But that doesn't mean he's done. Let me see if he does it again. Looked like that one took it pretty good that first time so I wasn't sure if he was actually on it. Well, he's not coming back. Darn. Now, that was definitely a bite. Alright, let's see something here. Where are we exactly in space here? Alright, let's go ahead and shut her down for a second. All right. Now where are we on the peak? Yeah, see we're we're even in a lower portion of it. So we're going to get less and less action if we keep where we are. Is this, is, let's see, what's the peak look like for the next night? Because I want you all to see the night fishing right now. Not we've already seen the day fishing. So the next we have another peak like we had initially. So. Let's just go ahead and advance time to here. Well, we made enough to pay for pay for our travel and our uh, license. That's pretty good. <laughs> I was afraid we wouldn't, but we're getting some pretty big fish here, so. Alright. 
let's weigh the anchor. Perfect. Let's throw this out. We're going to try this again, see if the striped bass are out this far. I don't know that they will be. That's the only thing I've seen bite on it so far. I'll be damned. Look at it. There it goes. We got him. We got him. Ho ho! We got him. Wow! Oh, I think it's a snook. It is. It's a big one. Yep, decent sized. Boy, he went after that fast. Ah, shoot. The, bo the boat stopped. The boat stops here. All right. Yeah, it seems like if they're pretty big, they'll stop the boat. Nice. Okay, let's get it pointed the right direction. So, striped bass and snook. And it may be snook because we're over this far. If we get another snook, then I am going to change lures. Gotta remember to switch that pack. <laughs> if I don't, I'm gonna be regretting it because I'm just gonna be giving out all kinds of line. Yeah, he bit different. The other one, the striped bass, like I sh had told you, they would grab it and let go, and then they grab it again, and that's when they take it. The snook just grabs it. These fish have their definite their own, can't talk these fish definitely have their own AI and once we get close to the stick ups I think I might actually put another um, spoon back on there casting spoon might try the red one this time and I also might try buzz bait. I tried it in the daytime, didn't have any luck, but might do something at night. I don't remember, well, like I said, what goes for it here. But I keep getting comments of people saying that the black large buzz bait is excellent here. Okay, let's try something different here. Well, first. Oh yeah, let's, let's definitely switch. Let's go to the red casting spoon. Let's see what that does. This is another night lure. Should cast out a lot farther. Yeah, right here is where the tarpon are going to be, so... Kind of interested to see if... The tarpon might go for the red one. Don't know. We'll find out, I guess. I think this is going to be our last pass. I don't think we're going to get anything with buzz bait. Just don't see it happening. I think the buzz bait will be better when we get into the brackish water. I do know that the striped bass go for it, but other than that, I'm, I'm not sure that anything else will at night. I mean, whoa, holy crap, there we go. There we go. Yeah, they love that lure. It does not say that they go for this lure, but they do go for it. 
Without a doubt. There you go. There's another one. Red one didn't even notice it. Didn't even know it existed. Okay, I'm going to make one more pass just for the sake of argument here. I am going to put on a buzz bait. This is, I've got to just see. I've been told that the black one is the best. Seems like blue gets attention. So I'm going to try blue. Oh, we definitely did. Holy crap. Oh, man. This is a big fish. I think it's a snook, but it's a big one. Let's see here. Eh, maybe not as big as I thought. He just hit really hard. No, he's trophy. He's a trophy one. Well, that's cool. Okay, let's see if we can't get this going again. He stopped the boat again. And there we go. Wow. Okay, what do we got here? What have we got here? I think it might be another snook, but I think it's a really big one. This actually might be another unique, guys. <laughs> yep, yeah, sure is. There you go. There you go with the buzz bait. Well, he didn't take any time to go after that. Let me see if I had a picture here. Nice common snook. 44.9 inches, 36.063 pounds. Decent fish. Get a picture of him. Fourteen seventy two cash. Can't beat that with a stick. Yeah, I'm really gonna have to do this one more time. <laughs> As I always say, one more time. Let's see here. I'm liking what I'm getting with this buzz bait. I was actually pleasantly surprised. I didn't think it was going to do anything. Really didn't believe it was going to do any good. I, in this case, I'm glad I was wrong. I think if I can position this just right, I might be able to take this right into the channel there. All right, let's throw that out there, see if we can't get something here. Yeah, these big fish hang out by those stick-ups. we go there's our last one guys now this one's not as big but and we're caught up in the trees but I think it's just another snook yep another common snook so we're getting the snook on the buzz bait really well here all right not a bad session here guys not bad at all let's see here let's get out of this mangroves tarpon do not seem to go for that though but we do know what they go for and we're gonna throw actually I might do one of the holographic spoons just to see I did that one before let's try that one Now 
This will be our last pass. I don't know if we'll get anything, but we'll see. Supposedly the tarpon go for this too. I don't know. We'll find out. It's getting foggy. Yeah, it's getting later. I think we're coming out of the peak now, but we did really well. Even if we don't get anything on this pass. Not so sure we are going to before we bump into the other side, yep. Yep, that's it. Well, we did get something. Oh, wow. Okay. That was last minute. I was... Oh, it is a tarpon. Oh, my God. We did get a tarpon. Final tarpon for the night. And there he is. He's not huge, but not bad. Anyway, that's a good way to end this. Get a look at him. Not bad, not bad at all. Nice, decent fish. 44 inch fish. That's nothing to sneeze at. It's not a trophy or unique, but I will take him. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And I think in this one we're going to try some. I think in this one we're going to try some trolling up some of those other channels in the fresh and brackish water areas. So, anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye bye.